Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another one of my peripheral videos. Um, as you know, that I am kind of gearing up for uh, a, a game that's coming out soon called Star Citizen, and I'm kind of going over each and every one of my peripherals. Now, when I now that what the topic that we're going to go over today is not necessarily normally considered a peripheral. Um, I'm going to be talking about my internet connection uh, because. There are so many different aspects. There are uh, dozens of different aspects that you have to take into consideration when you are playing any kind of online game. Okay, and first of all, to be able to get online, you have to have internet. Okay, well, I just want to let you know that I have fiber optic internet provided by my local electric company. Okay, because what they've done is they've run uh, fiber optic cables to their uh, meters so that those meters can be read b and adjusted by um, the office, uh, you know, downtown. And uh, because they've installed these fiber optic lines, they've decided to allow the uh, tenants, like myself, to use those fiber optic lines to um, have internet speed. And you can have up to uh, a terabyte of speed. I mean, uh, you can get a T line basically is my understanding. But uh, what I am what I have is 50 megabytes, I have a 50 megabyte. Now what's really cool, what I think is like extremely cool, is that if you look at your internet speeds, uh, wherever you're living, and I'm going to show you how you can do this uh, by using uh, speed test, and I, I've just googled it. And there is a just type in speed test. And then you've got this speed test by Ookla, right? It uh, it's a broadband speed test. We're going to run that here in just a moment. But the reason why I think it's really cool is because most internet companies give you a download speed of their advertised speed. So if they say they're 50 megabytes, then you can download it 50 megabytes because that's no lie. But the upload speed is usually throttled, and that's usually throttled down to about two or three megabytes and so you're paying for 50 but you're only getting two if you do any uploads and because as you know I make a lot of YouTube videos and I do a lot of uploading to the internet I want to have a high upload speed in addition to a download speed and when you're playing games you want both you want to upload and download because you want to know where your opponent is and you want to be able to know you know you want your compute the uh, the server to know when you shoot and you want to know when you're getting shot at and things like this so I know, just super basic. So uh, if you're getting high upload and high download speeds, then you've got a good internet connection. You got also awesome internet connection. But let me tell you a little bit about, uh, uh, this is called uh, Lightband. Lightband is the company that is providing the internet service. Lightband, when they installed, it only took them a few minutes to actually install it because they've already had the system installed on my energy, my electric box. But they ran wires into where I asked them to run it, inside my home. They installed an ethernet jack on the wall, and that was the end. Okay, so I just take an ethernet cable, plug my computer directly into the wall. There's no modem needed, nothing like that. Okay, but because I have multiple computers in the house, we actually have used a hub and so actually that's a it's a it's a work group switch and so by Linksys but that's the topic of another video okay so but in this in this video we're going to we're going to uh, do a speed test I know this video has gone way too long but we're we're gonna do a speed test okay allow this to load on some systems like in my old system it took forever for this page to load and then you can uh, pick and choose what server you want to run off of okay so I'm going to choose maybe one of these servers in Atlanta okay uh, the Tulix one right here you click it and it runs get the mouse pointer out of the way you test your ping you probably saw the ping right there it's testing my download speed right now it's downloading from the Tulix and it's giving you the speed there and it's gonna do it for a few seconds to kinda of get you an average this is kind of a, and then it'll display it right there. And then it, okay, 52. I'm actually getting 52. And then my upload speed. Okay, what's it, what's it sitting at? It 
was in the 40s. There we go, 52. Pretty awesome getting, so what you should do is go ahead and go to that speedtest.net, check that yourself, and uh, see if you're getting good internet connection. All right, well, thanks for coming out and checking out this peripheral video, and um, looking forward to Star Citizen coming out in the next few days. So uh, I'll see you in the verse.